fell asleep in my hand again. We do hiccups. So the sounds you're hearing are because she has a hole in her hard, well two holes in her hard palate. So saliva goes up there um, because there's no way to prevent it from getting into her nasal passages. And the, as the specialist said yesterday, um, she doesn't have all of the proper nasal structures that she should have that would help to filter out the um, impurities and viruses and germs and things like that. So she will probably always be more susceptible to infections just because of that, even after her palate gets fixed, if we can get her that far. But the, but the plan at this point is um, we're taking it hour by hour and have to work on getting her big, big enough for surgery and ideally have to wait for her adult teeth to come in. So uh, could be a long road ahead, but so far she's quite feisty. She's got the tortitude and, um, she's tolerating the tube feedings really well. And she's really cute. Look how cute she is. So we're going to do everything we can to get her to a point where she can have surgery. Um, the specialist said prognosis is guarded because the risk is so high for, um, in particular, aspiration pneumonia, which is because she's getting even just saliva and stuff in her nose um, from her mouth. She's then inhaling some of that into her lungs and then the risk of um, infection from that stuff is very high so um, uh, it's definitely going to be a tough a tough road ahead but um, as long as she's not suffering um, it's worth trying so 